Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I will be teaching you ICT power of three, or in other words, accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. Or you could refer to it as AMD. So this concept is very important uh, for you if you are an ICT trader or even an SMC trader. Basically for me, SMC is ICT, okay? Uh, the original founder of SMC I'll say is ICT, okay? Uh, so if anyone says otherwise, uh, he's wrong. So what is accumulation, manipulation, and distribution? So let me, so we, the accumulation is a consolidation phase of the market, or you could say liquidity, okay? So a liquidity pool is considered to be uh, accumulation. So this right here is a liquidity pool, right? we have a resistance, we have consolidation, the market is not going up or down. So this box right here is called accumulation or liquidity. So if we are bearish, right, if our bias is bearish, if the overall market trend on a hard time frame is bearish, we want to look for a manipulation or liquidity sweep in the opposite direction of the main trend. Okay, so assume that we are bearish right and we have then a consolidation phase and then we have uh, so we have accumulation we have then manipulation manipulation is simply liquidity sweep we have a build of liquidity pool and then we have a liquidity sweep this is called manipulation and then we get the move in original direction which is called distribution so this right here is a very important if you want to become a successful trader. We want to enter somewhere around here, right? So this area is where we should be taking our trade or we can take a second entry at the OTE. Okay, we can, we can take our entry. We can use the ODE model by ICT, which is using the FIB right and entering at these uh, levels so you can copy these levels these are by ICT so when price comes back you can take your entry so let me mark this out in another way and then I'm gonna give you some examples so this box right here is called accumulation where you're gonna have a pool of liquidity right it's gonna be a price that is something like this right and afterwards, what you will have is a manipulation. So you're going to have manipulation uh, or a fake out or liquidity sweep, whatever you want to call it. So price goes up, takes out all the liquidity, right? And after that, what we have is um, distribution, okay, which is the main move. So what happens then is price moves or um, distributes in the original direction right so this right here is what I call or every other ICT student calls uh, power of three it's really that simple and it is a must okay so the, now the question is how do we take our entry right from here so let's assume that we have we are bearish right and we have a, a break of structure right here and then what we have is consolidation or accumulation right so this right here is accumulation and right here what you have is an auto block right or a supply zone whatever you want to call it so this right here is your um auto block and now what you are anticipating if you know the bias if you know the trend so the higher time frame could be you know daily and four hour and you could be executing these trades on one hour 30 minutes or even 15 minutes so you then identify accumulation phase which is consolidation or liquidity pool right and afterwards when you have your poi marked out you take your entry after price um Manipulates right so we have accumulation and after manipulation when price comes back to this level 
you can either take a confirmation entry or you can just literally directly enter from this POI and that would be it. You target this level and what's going to happen? Price is going to distribute, right? And afterwards, you can take another entry, uh, which would be your um, OTE, optimal trade entry, and that would be it. So it's really that simple. Uh, a lot of people complicate it. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it's really that simple. You This liquidity, right? The build of liquidity is called accumulation. So now what's happening during the accumulation phase is a lot of people are buying and selling, right? So whoever sold, right, from this resistance, they're going to have their stop losses here. So what happens? Price manipulates, stops stops them out right and then the breakout traders buy right here right so they're gonna buy right here because the price has now broken out of consolidation so they buy here they put the stop below this level so what happens then price distributes stopping them out as well and then price comes back hits the ODE and it just goes back down so for this model you must know the original trend and it's really that simple if the market is making lower low lower high lower low lower high like this on a higher time frame your buys would be bearish you, you don't have to go long okay and if the market is creating higher high higher low which is something like this right you just want to go long uh, that is simple just just trade in direction of the market okay so I will try to give you guys some examples and then I'll end the video right so in this example we are looking at AUD USD on a one hour time frame you can see that the trend is bullish we are making a higher high higher low higher high higher low and then we made another higher high here now you might ask me where do we enter right so you mark out your POIs which would be this right and and also this right here now you see this consolidation phase right there's consolidation here so this right here now on a smaller time frame if i let's go to the replay mode and let's go here right let's go to the 15 minute time frame you can see that this is consolidation right this is accumulation phase where people are selling right and people are people are people are buying here right and what happens next is if i go back to the one hour time frame we have a poi or an auto block right below this accumulation phase so we have accumulation and this right here is manipulation right price fakes out and taps into our poi this could be our entry one and you notice that we have a POI here as well. So what I would do is I would look for a confirmation entry or I could put my stop here, okay? Now, a lot of I SMC traders, they like to keep their stop loss to, I don't know, two pips, one pip. That is absolutely wrong. Trust me, you're gonna lose money, okay? I don't care about the stop loss, okay? I, ca I could be happy with one to two and that would be it. One to two is really, really helpful for my psychology. I actually, and nowadays, I'm only targeting one to two because I'm in and out of a trade immediately, right? I don't have to stress about holding my trades. I book my profits and I go back home. So as you can see, price then uh, distributes. So we have accumulation, manipulation, and then price distributes with momentum. Now, here's another thing you want to and take your entry uh, during London or New York session. It is very important because time is very important when it comes to trading the ICT way, okay? A lot of people don't take time seriously when it comes to trading ICT concepts. But for me, time is the most important element when it comes to trading with ICT concepts. So right here, you see we have accumulation, but then we have manipulation, and afterwards, what we have is distribution, price distributes higher into the original direction and if I keep on playing this through we make another higher high right so following the trend what we do is uh, we just take our, take our entries and make sure that you are looking for um, the power of three setup below the 0 0.5 level or in the discounted zone when you are bullish so let me enable the 0 0.5 level 
you want to look for this uh, consolidation phase below 0 0.5 um, and you should be good so this was example I will not give, be giving you more examples because this is very self-explanatory right oh oh my god I cannot pr pronounce it self-explanatory I hope I pronounced it right so yeah you just simply look for consolidation phase uh, you look for manipulation you can either directly enter or you can look for confirmation entry and yeah that's about it and, and uh, if you want to learn more uh, you can join my course uh, of course I don't want to promote it in my videos I don't want to just keep on saying buy my course yeah blah 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 but uh, it's nice to say you know once in a while so if you're interested in learning more you can just check out my course but it's not necessary I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video Goodbye.